Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you guys how to read the information from a file in C. In the last tutorial, we talked about writing to files. So we looked at how we could create a file, overwrite a file, and append information onto a file. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how you can read information from a file. So down here, you'll notice that I have my file pointer set up. So I just say file and the asterisk, and I called it FP. And remember, this is just a pointer, which, you know, and a pointer is just a, um, a memory address. And it's the memory address of this file in memory. So it's the memory address of this employees.txt file, which we created in the last tutorial. And I'm using this fopen function, which basically opens this file, and then I'm specifying a file mode. We talked about the W file mode and the A file mode. Now I wanna to talk to you guys about the R file mode, and this stands for read. So when I use the R file mode, I'm actually able to read information from the file, and this can be pretty cool. So in order to read the information from the file, I'm actually gonna show you guys how we can read like the individual lines of the file. So actually first let's look at the file. Um, this is employees.txt. It just has uh, you know basically a bunch of employees, their names and then what they do. And we're gonna be able to read this file inside of our program. So the first thing I wanna do is create a variable. And I'm gonna create this variable up here before we create the file pointer. And it's just gonna be an array of characters and I'm just gonna call it line. And I'm gonna give this an initial size of 255. So this will be able to store 255 characters. And then down here, in order to read this file, I can actually read the file one line at a time. And we can use a special function called fgets. And fgets basically is going to allow us to read the lines of the file one by one. So I could say fgets, and I need to give this a few different parameters. The first parameter I need to give it is a place to store the information that it gets. So this function is gonna go and it's gonna read the information from the file, and it's gonna store it somewhere. So the first parameter we need to give this function is where it should store that information. So in our case, we're gonna store it inside of that line variable that we created up there. The second thing we need to give this is a size. And this is basically just gonna be like um, the maximum size that we can read in. So I'm just gonna say 255. Basically this number should match this number up here. And then we also want to give it that file pointer. So I'm just gonna say F pointer. And basically what this is gonna do is it's going to read the first line of the file and it's gonna store it inside of this line variable. So if I was to come down here and say print f and print it out a string and just print it out line, now when I print out line, it's actually gonna be have the value of the first line in the file. So let's run this program and you'll see over here we're printing out Jim Salesman. And if you don't remember, that was the first line inside of that employees.txt. So basically what fgets is doing is it's reading the first line and another thing that it's doing is it's moving this pointer. So remember, this pointer is essentially pointing to where the file is in our memory. And whenever we use fgets, this pointer is gonna get incremented. So it's, it's basically gonna move past the first line in the file. So if I was to use this again, for example, if I said fgets again, when I use this, it's gonna store the value of the first line of the file inside of line. And when I use it again, it's now gonna grab the second line in the file. So if I print this out now, this should actually be storing the second line in the file. So when I run my program, you'll see it's storing the second line, Pam receptionist. I could basically do this for all of the lines in the file. So that's basically how we can use fgets to read the individual lines inside of a file. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.